Welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video, I wanted to show you an article that somebody had sent me. A truck driver was killed by another truck driver. This just happened here recently. Uh, apparently, it's a really sad story. The, the guy had been driving over 35 years. Uh, he struggled to get his CDLs a long time ago, and he got them. Uh, went through a lot of stuff to get him, and then he was on his way home to Alabama, and it showed he was walking through the parking lot, and another truck driver killed him, ran him over, and left him for dead. I'll check this article out. Looking for a semi-truck driver who ran over and killed a man. It happened at the Pilot Travel Center. Meanwhile, a family across state lines now searching for answers. Sam Luther is joining us here tonight. Sam, it's been almost a week. Still an active investigation with a lot of answers that they're still looking for. Yet uh, the family of Gary Clark heartbroken, obviously, but also angry knowing someone just drove away after running him over. His wife and daughter now turning their attention towards holding whoever did this responsible. Five days a week, Gary Clark was on the road, away from his family, driving trucks. Every morning, whenever I left to go to work, I called him. And every afternoon, whenever I come home from work, I called him. His typical route left from his home in Prattville, Alabama, and ended in New Jersey. Last Friday, on his way back home, he stopped at this pilot travel center in White Pine. When he was out of his car walking, another driver ran him over and left him for dead. I am so angry. And I'm so upset. And it just it hurts so bad because he didn't deserve that. Nobody does. Police say the driver that ran him over went inside the pilot for 20 minutes. Employees telling the man he may have ran someone over. A family more than five hours away getting the news that the man responsible didn't stop and instead drove away. Knowing that he was that far away and something happened to him and I could not be there and I could not hold him and I could not comfort him hurts me more than anything else. Clark was 64 years old, but when he was 14, he had another accident. He was riding a motorcycle and pulled out of a shopping center and he was hit on the side by a vehicle and that took his leg at that point. Overcoming the odds and getting certified to drive these trucks with an artificial leg, spending most of his time away from his loved ones just so he was able to provide for them. He was okay making that sacrifice for us to make sure that we were okay and never wanted for anything. Clark had been driving trucks for more than 35 years, longer than his daughter had been alive. He was supposed to be back in Alabama with his family the very next day. Now, guys, understandably, this family's still hoping for some answers. Now, Sam, it's been almost a week. Was there security footage? Do they have a suspect? Yeah, it's the question most folks are asking right now. The travel center did have security cameras, but tonight White Pine Police tells me it really wasn't that helpful. The truck not having any distinguishing markings and the camera not able to zoom in, not close enough to get a license plate or a good description, although I am told they're following a few leads right now, hopeful to have something concrete here soon. Yeah, if anybody who was there last Friday saw something, call police. Sam, thanks. So as you see right there, you got to be careful. You got to be careful out here. You know, much love and much many prayers to his family. You know, you heard his daughter mourning right there, and I thought, you know, what if that was my family, leave my family behind? Man, it's so sad. But it, it's also an eye opener that when you're out there, don't take it for granted that you can just walk through a truck stop. And he's probably walked through those truck stops a million times. He's been driving longer than his kids were alive. Like he's been driving a long time. I was probably a little boy when he was driving, but drivers, you got to pay attention. Keep your eyes open. And if you were there that day at that truck stop and you've got any footage, please send it to the police department because, man, he lost his life. And that family, they need, they, they need justice for it. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope this video helps you out. Let's get it.